She is a princess. She accessorizes her lovely dress with a glittering headband, transparent heels, and long, white gloves. She triumphs over her evil stepmother and stepsisters, who use her as a maid in order to meet and dance with a very handsome prince. And then she hastily returns home before midnight, at which point her carriage turns back into a pumpkin. However, Cinderella is not like that at all. Grimm's Esken Puddle is a much gloomier take on the Cinderella story. The tree on her mother's grave grants Cinderella's wishes rather than a fairy godmother, and her own father chooses to ignore his daughter's pain. When the prince comes to try on the heroine's slippers, one of the stepsisters cuts off her big toe, and the other cuts off her heel so that they both fit. When Cinderella's magical birds reveal the blood on their stockings to the prince, their deception is exposed. As a final punishment for their cruelty and deceit, Cinderella's stepsisters serve as bridesmaids at her wedding before having their eyes pecked out by doves. There is no simple way to describe the true Cinderella. She is a fictional figure who bridges the gap between many different cultures and periods of time. As far back as the 6th century BC in Greece, there is already a story featuring a character with Cinderella-like traits. One of the shoes belonging to Rhodopis, a Greek courtesan, is stolen by an eagle in the ancient tale Rhodopis and her little gilded sandals, and the bird flies it across the Mediterranean before depositing it in the lap of an Egyptian king. The king interprets the shoe's fall as a sign from the heavens and sets out to track down the shoe's rightful owner. He eventually tracks down Rhodopis and marries her, elevating her from a lowly position to the throne. Ye Xian, a Chinese fairy tale from the 9th century, features a young woman named Ye Xian who, after being granted one wish by some magical fish bones, sews a gown in the hopes of meeting a suitable husband. Similar to the story of Rhodopis, a king acquires the shoe here it has a goldfish scale pattern and embarks on a quest to locate the woman whose tiny feet will fit into them. The king agrees to marry Ye Xian because of her beauty, and her evil stepmother is killed when stones fall on her cave. The Charles Perrault tale on which Disney based Cinderella is a mild one, first published in 1697. The plot of Perrault's story mirrors that of Disney's adaptation almost identically. The Cat Cinderella, written by Jean Baptiste de Bossel and published in 1634, was the inspiration for both Perrault's and Grimm's versions. Despite being relatively mild for a Bossel fairy tale, it is interesting to note that Cinderella opens up to her seemingly kind governess about the abuse she suffers at the hands of her stepmother. If Cinderella wants to solve her problem, the governess advises she must kill her stepmother by slamming the lid of a large wooden chest down on her stepmother's throat, breaking her neck. Finally, Cinderella must persuade her father to wed the governess. After Cinderella murders her stepmother, the wedding can finally take place. However, when the governess reveals her own seven beautiful daughters, Cinderella's father no longer cares about his own daughter. They all begin to mistreat Cinderella calling her names and putting her to work as a servant in the kitchens where she is now known as Cat Cinderella. It's nice to know that Cinderella wasn't always so innocent, but the rest of the story progresses like a traditional Cinderella tale and actually has a happy ending all around. The Cinderella story has had a lasting impact on global culture, lending its tropes, allusions and references to a wide range of artistic disciplines. There is a lot of excitement about how it is still developing in the present day, despite having been translated into 50 different languages. What I've learned from the Cinderella story is that kindness is appealing and will be rewarded in the end. Of course, the wickedness and evilness of the stepmother and stepsister are exaggerated to highlight Cinderella's good nature, where everyone gets what they deserve for their wrongdoings and Cinderella gets her happily ever after with her prince.
If you like our videos, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Also, if you want more, just click on these videos.